Hi friends, my name is Ms. Emily. I'm a librarian at the Mooresville Public Library in Mooresville, Indiana, and welcome to today's virtual family program. For today's program, we'll be doing chalk drawings that kind of look like they are glowing. It looks really cool and I think you'll have a fun time doing it. So first of all, this project can be a little bit messy. You're using chalk and there'll be dust. So cover your space with some newspaper or a plastic tablecloth like I have, or you can do it outside. When you stop by the library to get your packet, inside you'll find a black sheet of construction paper, a uh, piece of white cardstock that has a shamrock printed on it, a bag of different colored chalk, and two cotton swabs. You can do the shamrock as printed on the cardstock, but you don't have to. You can do any shape that you want. You can turn the paper over and draw what you like, and uh, it can be anything. A heart, a star, uh, the outline of a car. Just remember that it's going to be an outline and not something that has details in the middle. Whatever shape you decide to do, go ahead and cut it out of the cardstock and place it firmly on your black sheet of paper. Before you start drawing, think about what colors you like your shape to be. It could be all one color or one or two colors, or you could use all of the different ones that come in your packet. So we've got blue, yellow, red, green, or orange. I think I'm going to do a rainbow shamrock. So I'm going to plan out ahead of time which colors are going to go where. So I think the blue one's going to be this leaf, and the yellow one is this leaf, and the green one over here, and red here, and I think the stem is going to be orange. Hold your cardstock shape down firmly and begin drawing a thick line around the outside of your shape. Put quite a bit of chalk down. Make sure to get into all the corners and right up against the template. This will make some dust, but that's okay. Keep some paper towels handy to wipe off your hands. And here comes the fun part. Using either a Q-tip or your fingers, smudge out the color from your lines, keeping your shape in place. Go slow, smudge as far as you can get the chalk to go. You can go over it more than once. Wipe your hands in between colors so they don't mix. Always wipe outwards so that it looks like there is a glow coming off of the page. Skinny pieces like the stem might be a little tricky but just hold it down and go slow. When you've smudged all around your shape, carefully lift off your template. You can gently shake out any excess dust onto your newspaper or go outside. And there you go, you've got a beautiful shape that looks like it's glowing off the page. If you'd like to, you could always add details with your chalk to the inside afterwards, or you can leave it as is for the most dr dramatic effect. I hope you enjoyed making some chalk art. Uh, I'd love to see what you made, so if you'd like to send the library any pictures using our email address, or you can uh, bring them by the next time you visit to pick up some books, I'd love to see what you made. And I'll leave you as I always do with a book suggestion. 
This is The Case of the Missing Chalk Drawings by Richard Byrne. It's a really funny uh, picture book about these pieces of chalk who like to make drawings, of course, but somebody has been stealing all of their pictures. So they made this beautiful picture of these flowers. And when they came back from lunch, so much of it was gone. All the flowers are gone. So this is them trying to solve the mystery of the missing chalk drawings. That's it for this week. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.